Right, so today we're gonna to be talking about uh, the capital asset scheme. Why is this important to VAT and what you should be aware of? Um, I think the way I'm gonna sum this up is when you buy an asset, the asset will have uh, VAT, usually it will have VAT uh, when you actually make that purchase. And you should be able to recover that VAT. Okay, so depending on what the use of that, that item is, but you should normally be able to recover that VAT. But in some situations, uh, you may not be able to recover that tax or you can only partially recover that tax, okay? But what happens is that under the capital asset scheme, we don't know the exact um, requirements for Bahrain, but um, in the UAE and Saudi, we have uh, slightly different uh, timescales. But let's take, for example, that there is a, a 10-year VAT life placed on an asset. So even if your asset only had a life of, of say, eight years in your in your actual uh, fixed asset register, it may actually have a 10 year VAT life. And what this means is that if you were to buy, let's say an air conditioning unit, a big air conditioning unit that was applied to a, um, a residential block. Now generally, anything linked to residential uh, uh, you know, sales, etc., would be uh, exempt from tax. And as a result, the amount of VAT that you can recover is say 0%, so you cannot recover the VAT because your sale is exempt. We'll talk a little bit more about that on another, on another uh, blog episode. But at that time, when you buy that asset, you cannot recover the tax, okay? So let's just say the, uh, the VAT on there was, is, was uh, an amount of 100. Then, um, five years later, you decide actually to move that air conditioning unit from a residential block to a commercial block. Now, when you make sales uh, on commercial property, uh, commercial property is actually taxable. And so therefore, the VAT is recoverable. So that life uh, of the, or the VAT life, i.e. 10 years, means that actually we had to, um, in effect, pay that 100 VAT to the government, or rather, we couldn't recover that 100 VAT to the government. But now, because we've moved the asset from a residential block to a commercial uh, building where we can recover the tax, we can say, right, out of that 10 year life cycle, we've had five years on the residential, we have five years remaining, so therefore we can actually get five years of the VAT back. So you can now apply to have 50%, I mean five years of 10 is 50%, 50% of the VAT you can now recover. And so that's what we mean by a capital asset scheme. It's, it's a situation where you may buy uh, fixed assets and then depending on the life and what that, uh, that asset is being used for, can actually have an impact on the, the amount of tax that you can actually recover. So for example, if you were to just buy an asset, say it's for commercial use, recover all of the VAT, and then move it to another part of the business where it's you know, non-recoverable, that's what the authorities are trying to avoid. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of an understanding of what the capital asset scheme is, uh, is about and what is required, so that you'll know a little bit about this when you're speaking to your tax advisor to say, you know, we, we have fixed assets, are we impacted? by a potential capital asset scheme. Thanks.